Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how this works. The Zayod RC. So what is the Zayod RC? The Zayod RC is an electric race car with the intentions of being the first vehicle to complete an all-electric lap at the 24 hours of Le Mans. The Zayod will be operating under Garage 56, which is a prototype garage at Le Mans where you don't have to follow the regulations of the other vehicles. So let's talk about the car. Now one of the first things you'll notice is the fairly unique shape it has. And this is done for several reasons. Two of which being, first of all, you're gonna have an aerodynamic design with a very narrow front end. Also, with it being pretty narrow, you can remove quite a bit of weight and keep the weight down pretty low. So what we've got going on here is most of the weight's gonna be on the rear tires, which are the drive tires. So that's good for acceleration. Uh, some other things to talk about aerodynamic wise, it has a lift to drag ratio of six to one. So what that means is, for as it's moving along the track at a high speed, the force pushing the car down is six times greater than the force pulling drag on the car. So basically reducing your fuel economy, uh, reducing your efficiency of getting around, which is a really good ratio and, and that of the top competing race cars out there. So here on the side of the vehicle, you can see these two air ducts. This one here, air will be feeding a radiator, which is mounted at the back. Uh, and this one here will be allowing air to go in to feed the 1.5 liter engine, as well as air for the pneumatic paddle shifters. The vehicle is also equipped with a drag reduction system, which at high speeds and on straightaways can fold down, minimizing drag and allowing the car to go at faster speeds. One of the unique things about this vehicle is it actually has two power plants on board that it can switch between. It can run off of two electric motors, or it can run off of a 1.5 liter, three cylinder gasoline engine. This is where it gets the name Zero Emission On Demand when you can switch to the electric system and ride purely on electric power. Now the electric powertrain consists of two brushless DC permanent magnet motors which are rated at 120 kilowatts each. So the energy for the two electric motors on board is stored in this battery here which is a 400 volt 12 kilowatt hour battery. It's made up of 672 lithium ion pouch style cells. Now this tray that the battery is resting on is actually uh, the floor of the car so when it's raised up it seals the bottom. Now the lithium ion pouch style cells are a similar technology to what is used in the Nissan LEAF. So this battery stores enough energy to propel the Zayod up to 300 kilometers per hour. Now obviously at 400 volts you're going to have quite a bit of heat generated within this battery so they flow a dielectric fluid uh, through this inlet here. It flows within and cools the battery and then flows out here. So the battery of the Zayod RC is located directly behind the driver um, and it's about 130 kilogram battery so that's keeping the majority of the weight of this car centered um, in the vehicle and it's also surrounded by the fuel tank so both energy sources are stored right here kind of at a center low location keeping the center of gravity of the vehicle low and keeping all of the weight kind of towards the center so it's an agile vehicle. On the ICE side we have a 1.5 liter three-cylinder engine capable of producing up to 400 horsepower and only weighing 40 kilograms. This engine is located behind the battery in this area right here. So this engine actually doesn't have a starter motor, instead it uses the onboard electric motors uh, to start the engine. Now they're both the engine and the electric motors are geared to the same transmission. When the clutch engages, you'll hear the engine fire up and then the car will take off. Now Nismo believes that with 12 laps at Le Mans, this 1.5 liter will be able to generate enough power along with the regenerative braking to power the Zayod for one full electric lap. So looking at the steering on the Zayod, we can see that it's a direct mechanical linkage to the steering wheel. Um, and then you've got the pivoting point right here. Uh, so this is not power assisted. This is purely the drivers making it turn left and right. So let's kind of get a view of what it's like for the driver to sit inside of here. Um, it's a pretty snug feel, definitely tucked in. You're down low, keep your center of gravity low. But visibility out of the front is actually really good. Uh, you can see out the side, both sides as well, pretty, pretty good. So let's take a look at the steering wheel and some of the buttons and functionalities of it. So you've got a display here which is kind of giving you all kinds of different information. Um, in the top left we've got our drag reduction system, so you can press and hold that for it to lower the wing in the back uh, and as you release it'll come back up. You've got your wipers, um, you've got a scroll so you can scroll through some different uh, categories here, different pages for different parameters. You've got your engine mapping, your traction control. Uh, you can turn it between the electric or the ICE system. Um, and then all kinds of different functionalities over here. You can put it in neutral. Um, so different controls, you've got your shift lights up at the top. 
Um, and then of course your paddle shifters for up, up shifting and down shifting on the left and right. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And for more information on the Zayad RC, as well as to watch it prepare for Le Mans, head on over to Nismo's channel.